the latest setup here. Um, things are looking better today. Um, the cell ran all night. And uh, it wasn't real high power. It wasn't where it's at now. Around uh, 5 amps last night, all night. And uh, I think it looked pretty good this morning. Um, again, there's just a, there's a little tinge there, but I think that's from the old garbage. I, if it uh, continues to run good, it may replace hoses just for cosmetic appeal. Um, right now, it's running at oh, between 18 and 20 amps, somewhere in there. I need to put a shunt on there so I can find out exactly where it is. Um, the voltage is right around 16.2 total volts, which puts me, I don't know, around two and a half. Uh, let's say six, 15, yeah, two and three quarters per cell, which is a little high. Um, running it off the alternator here. And one, one concern I notice as my voltage is dropping, here, as the voltage is dropping, um, it seems to indicate that the uh, temperature is going up on the alternator. Thus less resistance, lower voltage, but the current doesn't seem to be changing. Um, get over here so I can see this. I'm about 140 degrees, give or take, is what I'm seeing on the and move around here and 42 yeah around 142 I think was the highest now looking through some spec sheets and I don't know if I can read this or not talking about different classes of alternators and uh, I can get that to focus in, that'd be super. I might be asking too much of it. Um, oh well. Anyways, I'll just say class A continuous, they're saying, is 108 Fahrenheit. B, 144, F, 189, and H, 225 for continuous usage. Um, I don't know what this alternator is rated at. I don't know what amps it's rated at. I don't know what class of wiring it has in it. So, I really don't know when it's going to die. <laughs> I can't find anything on it. Um, very little information. Like I said, this one's out of a treadmill. Need to get a good automotive alternator on here that can handle it. Uh, moving on, uh, the big holdup I've had is powering the field coil, and I think I think I've solved that problem for now. Um, I didn't like using a battery; that's what was bugging the heck out of me. And um, ideally, it would be a circuit that uh, I could come off of the. Uh, uh, off the battery post of the alternator and feed it back in and possibly with a good voltage regulator I could accomplish that I just don't seem to have a good one around here so the way I've solved it for now is converted an old PC ATX power supply and I'm coming off the 5 volt lead and uh, right now it's drawing 5.1 volts and 1.20 amps and I'm just looking quickly down here on the side uh, 5 volt can handle up to 22 amps so um, it's it's not even beginning to tax that uh, power supply I see this is dropping a little more 16.1 check our temperature again. It's been running for oh good 25 minutes probably. And moving around here. What am I getting? Mm, 
nothing terribly high. Um, I don't know, maybe it had a different reading over at this angle. Oh yeah, 142, 44, 45. That's hitting, uh, it's hitting the, uh, the encasement here for the stator. And it's hot. I mean, it's, it's too hot to keep my hand on it for very long. But, I don't know. Wow, this is still dropping. So, um, I might need to look at using one of these other alternators. Anyways, uh, like I said, it's been running for a while. The amps seem to be holding pretty steady here. Right about that 20, 18 to 20 amp range, according to that. Um, the production down here looks awesome. Kicking out. And, uh, but the coolest part, production is finally high enough where, yeah, I can actually see this gas blowing out the top. And, uh, that's just a beautiful thing to me. And, uh, I mean, the, the lines are not, I mean, they're, they're warm, um, but by no means hot. And, uh, you check the temperature on, like, the cell here and see what we get. Um, 89, 90, it's on the side. Move it around, there's the output. Uh, yeah, I mean, 90, I saw a 99, I don't know, 100, 100 at best. Um, return, yeah, the return feels slightly cooler than the, uh, than the output line here. Um, looking at the gas, the output, um, we've got sections, this is interesting, the sections as it rises of, of white frothy bubbles, and big clear areas. Uh, I don't know if that, uh, if that's kind of curious to me. Um, I don't think it's surging down here. So I'm wondering if that's the separation of the uh, hydrogen bubbles versus oxygen bubbles, you know, being a larger bubble versus a collection of smaller bubbles. I don't know. But, uh, Kind of curiosity. If somebody knows, I'd love to hear the answer to that. Uh, we're down here to almost to 16 volts. That's again the output over here. The alternator current has not changed. That's just cool. <laughs> That's just cool. Just throwing it out of there. Love it. So I, I need to put a gauge together so I can actually see what the what the output is and uh, then get an MMW reading on it. And uh, it's probably I suppose that's what I ought to do next here. Um, my goal right now was to get a system that could run uh, for long periods of time without burning up and uh, so you know, without being something that I can leave running overnight that will produce more power. And I guess it really depends on this alternator, if it can handle that or not. And uh, like I said, I've got some other ones down here. Uh, you know, I got a, there's the one I killed earlier, a week or two ago, whatever that was. Um, that one's the same as the one on there. And I got this, uh, this one right here, which, um, I don't know if it's any good. It's uh, off of, I believe, off of Ford pickup, but it's a 75 amp um, alternator. But I haven't gotten it to work yet, so I don't know. The uh, the field coil may be bad in that one also. In which case, uh, you know, what can I say? I need to go pick up another alternator at the junkyard for a little bit of nothing. So um, motors not working out of the norm there. Yeah, everything's looking good. Let's 
still at that 16, maybe it's going to hold. I don't know. That'd be sweet if it would just level out, but I'm thinking I'm asking just slightly too much from it. Now I could I could drop this down and come off the three and a or three point three volt feed here. But you know the, the cell can handle this. And so you know I'd like to get this alternator situation stepped up in order to be able to you know give it the power. Give this cell the power that it uh, that it can handle. So, anyway, that's what I got for now.